In the previous beta version of Ornatrix for Unreal Engine, there was only one way to import Groom assets into your game, and that way included taking out the USD assets previously exported from another host like Maya or 3ds Max, and dropping them into the Unreal content browser. There was no way to really create new assets from scratch directly inside of Unreal Engine. With the newer beta builds, there is now multiple ways to create a completely new groom directly inside Unreal Engine, and here in this tutorial we will quickly look at how this can be done. After you load the Ornatrix plugin inside the Unreal's plugins dialog, in the toolbar you should see this Ornatrix editor mode. If you click on it, you see a couple of toolbars appear with tabs, and by default it's going to switch to a brush and at the left side you will see a new tab called Ornatrix containing controls and the operator stack of your Ornatrix groom. When you select a single object inside the scene you will just see by default this one single entry here containing the object's name. So in this case if I select this box I just see cube. The easiest and fastest way to create hair on top of this cube is to simply click this add groom button. Once you click this button, you get a default groom added with a bunch of operators and in other hosts we call this groom furball. Here you can see a number of different operators that are layered on top of each other starting from the bottom and going to the top. Once you select an operator and you look to the right inside the details tab, you will see various controls that can be used to adjust parameters and do various operations inside of this operator. For example, if I go to the change width operator, I can change the width value and inside the viewport in real time you can see the feedback of the hair width changing. You can add new operators using this plus sign over here. So for example, if I want to make my hairs a little bit frizzy, I can click this plus button here, select frizz, and we get a new frizz operator on top. If I adjust its value, you can see in real time that we are modifying these freeze parameters. I can select these operators and use the delete key to delete them. Just like in all the other hosts for Ornatrix, we have this little button here called show and result toggle. If you click on this button and you select an operator, it's going to display hair only until this operator without applying any of the operators above the selected one. If you turn this on, which is the default option, you will see the end result of the whole operator stack. To the left of the show end result toggle, you have a different button, which you can press and turn your whole operator stack into a native groom inside Unreal Engine. So if I click this button, I'm going to be prompted with a message box which says this will create a new groom asset. What this means is that we have not previously created a native hair asset inside Unreal Engine from the Ornatrix hair asset. So this will require the creation of this new asset. I'm going to press yes and when I do, this whole operator stack collapses down so we don't have any control over individual operators and instead all of the hairs are now native on Unreal Engine hairs. So if I select my box and I move it around, you can see that even the physics is applied. And as, as far as Unreal Engine is concerned, these are native hairs that you can export into your game engine and use them just as you would a native hair asset. You can see that the, the little icon here now has a lock on it which implies that uh, we have locked our Ornatrix modifications until further notice. If you press this button again, we can go right back into the Ornatrix editing mode and uh, any previous changes which we have made to the operators are intact and you are ready to continue your editing. We call this functionality of going back and forth between the Unreal Engine hair and Ornatrix hair the round trip functionality. Essentially what this means is that every detail that you have applied to the groom using Ornatrix gets preserved with your Unreal hair even if you export it into your game engine. So even if you have a game inside of the game, you can still theoretically adjust hair using Ornatrix operators and convert to the native groom. So now I will go back to my uh, operator stack and we're going to take a look at some of the tools here on the Ornatrix toolbar. We have our standard comb brush. If I select this brush, I'm able to comb my hair and uh, by default it's going to use the selected edit guides operator inside my stack but if I have nothing selected it's going to add a new one for us on top of it. 
If you look to the left part of the screen, below the operator stack, you have all of the settings for this specific brush. So here you can select the brush shape, you can select the uh, different attenuation parameters, you can select uh, whether the brush affects hair length or not, and all the other standard Ornatrix brush parameters. You can select various other brushes and they might have uh, different settings depending on the brush. So for example, this is the cut brush, and then we have a, a paint brush and all of the other brushes available for us. So this is a quick gist about the brushes and the basic way of adding hair to your objects. Moving along, let's just find another empty static mesh inside the scene. You can also add hair using the create brush. If you select this brush, and I'm just going to adjust the size a little bit smaller, you can just directly click and drag on top of any object to start spraying hairs directly on top of it. And uh, if I go to the brush settings, you can also set a minimal distance. So if you go to the very bottom, you can see the spacing is set to 0.1. I can increase this to a larger value. And this will prevent roots from being spaced more than this value. Even if I continue spraying the hairs at the same spot, it will not create any roots that are one unit or smaller distance from each other. Just like the create brush, you can always go and select the delete brush and same way you can delete the hairs that you don't need. So this sets up a whole new operator stack for you. So in this case, we have this test stack over here and just the same as before, you can toggle it to use to do the round trip between the Ornatrix hair and the native Unreal Engine hair. And you can use various other operations for Ornatrix hair. So another way of adding hair onto your objects, let me just go to this cone over here. Inside of the Ornatrix toolbar, you have this draw strands tool. And if you select this draw strands option, you can just click and draw strands using your viewport directly on top of the surface where you want to create hairs. And again, this creates a new operator stack for you where you can apply different operators and convert your hair to native Unreal grooms. So these are just three different ways of creating hairs directly inside of Unreal Engine. So you do not really have to rely on a, an external DCC app to do this for you anymore. You can author grooms that are fully compatible with your Unreal native hair and switch back and forth anytime you need. We will take a look at other tools on this toolbar in a future tutorial, but for now, thank you for watching.